So there are now 9,017 cases, including 105 deaths. So in addition, at any point in time, as I've always said, there's many other people under investigation. Some are still waiting for their lab results. Some have not yet been tested. So again, even if you haven't heard of cases in your community, it doesn't mean that there are no cases and there are no exposures uh, potentially there. Just act as though the, 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 there's illness around you and act accordingly. So we've now completed tests for over 250,000 people in Canada with around 3.7% of people confirmed as positive and 95% confirmed as negative. I just want to um, point to our website, which has a lot of epidemiologic information, lots and lots of data. And um, I'll just spend a moment in clarifying um, that there is such a thing as an epidemic curve that is posted on our website. And so every day at this point in time, you're hearing the the cumulative numbers being reported so that uh, 9,017 is the number, total number of cases that we've had ever since the start of the outbreak in Canada. What you don't see with those numbers is when did these people get sick? Uh, what is the trajectory of this outbreak look like? And that's what an epidemic curve is and that is on our website. So if you go there and uh, as I said before, what you're getting reported today is actually what happened to someone when they got infected and got symptomatic at least two weeks ago. So the numbers that you're seeing reported is what happened to someone two weeks ago. So um, you will see that um, the, the curve itself goes up and down and um, what the two week delay is of course when people get sick, they then have to go and present, they then get tested, they then get the test results and it takes time for public health to investigate an outbreak, find the contacts, test the contacts. So it's quite an involved process to get you that epidemic curve. So look at it and um, you can see what actually is happening. Which is also why, you know, when uh, some of the key uh, public health measures were put in um, a couple of weeks ago, we're not going to see the impact on that epidemic curve of those measures uh, for a little while. But as I've said, this week is a crucial time, particularly in the West, where the epidemic started a little earlier to see what's happened to that outbreak. And so um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But obviously, it's some, some of these technical pieces, uh, Dr. New and I could un, un, unpack for you uh, at any point in time that you wish to ask us questions. So um, essentially, with just to add the, the epidemic curve, we will not know where the peak of an outbreak is until you've actually passed that peak. That's another concept you need to remember because this will keep going until you've actually got to the other side. You won't know that you've actually hit that peak. It takes a little bit of lag.